Hey everybody, thank you for checking in today. Glad that you're here. Uh, today, I was able to attend uh, uh, one of my child's uh, honor roll assemblies. Hey, honor roll. Uh, something I never did. Uh, honor roll assembly, and, and it's so cool to watch uh, kids when they get uh, called up for anything. Because there's usually three types of uh, approaches to the stage, right? There's the walk, right? So. Jalen Cooking. Look it up like that, right? Then there's the run. Right? And then there's my favorite of all, which is the walk run. Okay. Like, alright, so you're so you so you don't know whether you should walk or run. You feel like running. Everything inside you tells you to run because you're excited but you're worried because your parents or other people watching might get mad at you for running and so they want you to walk, so you do the walk run, right? I don't know if you've ever had that happen to you before. I certainly remember it as a child. I remember it at work. I remember it at school. I remember doing some sort of walk run and it doesn't have to be a physical walk run. This is what brings me to the piece about authenticity and making space because how many different areas of your life do you walk run, right? Where you want to run, you are excited, you are pumped, you are passionate about something. You, maybe it's something at work, it's a project you really wanna jump on, but you're worried. You're worried what other people will think of you. You're worried if, if the leadership will say, no, it's a horrible idea, or uh, what your peers would say. Oh my goodness, what would your peers would say if you actually took your career and something you wanted to do seriously enough where you get excited about it, or even at school, going up and actually asking your professor or your teachers, you know, how can I improve? What can I get better at? I'm really excited about, you know, getting into this, uh, this kind of learning experience, but, but it might not look cool to others. So you walk and in the, in, in the process of walking, when you feel like running, you're not being authentic to yourself. The person inside you that you get fired up to run up to that stage is held back by the person inside you who feels they should walk up to that stage based on somebody else's expectations of you, somebody else's uh, words that they're gonna say to you, somebody else's, somebody else's stuff. When was the last time that you realized that making space for yourself stems from this feeling of authenticity about being true to who you really are and who you really are, what I've learned, changes by the moment. I'm certainly not the same person I was yesterday. I'm not the same person I'm going to be tomorrow. We use that example of kids going to school and they come back eight hours older. We also go through our days and come back in to our roles that we have in life. A parent, a spouse, a partner, a friend, a, a sibling, a son, a daughter, a child, whatever that role is. And we go boom, right back into the situation and the expectations around us, or maybe we have them on others, is that that's the same person I talked to the last time or the same person I saw the last time. And then we try fitting everybody into this space of what they're expecting us to be or, or, or even worse, what we think that others are expecting us to be, what we think, the type of employee that our, 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 our bosses think we should be or the type of friend our friends think we should be. If you just pay attention, to the little voice inside your head that wants you to run because you're excited, not run from fear, but run because you're excited. That, hey, this is who I am. This is really who I am. If you accept me, then all things are good. If you don't, then I need to make some changes, right? Nothing changes if nothing changes. We've talked about that before. So this is all, you know, you know, this is all good. And yeah, yeah, I like, I like what you're saying, saying Jeff, but how do I even apply this? A good practice that I put into play a, a long time ago, but I continue to apply it. It's literally jotting down who you are. Taking some time, taking a piece of paper, taking a pen, taking your phone, whatever, even recording it on your phone just to get your thoughts out, doing a mind dump like we talk about. Who are you? Not, I am a dad or, I am an employee, or I am a performance coach, or I, like, who are you? What type of work do you like doing? What are you passionate about? What excites you? 
what are your primary drivers, right? So if it's your career, what are your primary drivers in your career that motivates you and inspire you to do the work you do? Is it money? Is it status? Is it the actual type of work that gets you excited? What is that? Write those things down. After I jot those things down, I look at my reality of what's going on and where am I making space for those things that excite me or you know how I communicate. How I communicate is not for everybody. I understand that, but I had to come to grips and be authentic with myself and understand that that's okay. That it may not connect with everyone. That my communication style may be different than what people are, and that's fine too. But the most important thing is that I'm okay with myself and making space for yourself and understanding that whole point of things that I say at the end, which is you matter, I appreciate you, go get them. The whole thing's behind that, the whole basis behind that, is for you to create that space for yourself to understand that you do matter without all those rules, without all those expectations. So the very next time you get an opportunity to feel authentic, you can run up to the stage, get that award, and if anybody laughs, they hate you because they ain't you. I don't know what else to say. I believe in you. Do that little exercise. Jot down the things that make you you. And it's only in this 10 seconds. It can change tomorrow. You can change it tomorrow. You don't have to send it to anybody. If you don't know how you actually are, send out a quick survey. Go on to SurveyMonkey and send out a quick survey about how you interact with people. Send it to people. Have them respond. Get their feedback and just take it in as feedback. It's not all or nothing. It's not true or false. It's just how you are being perceived. And that's so important to understand where you're coming from. Do you like how you're being perceived? If not, change it. Change it, right? For authenticity, understanding what you are in pursuit of and what kind of realization you're trying to come to, what kind of growth you're trying to come to, really comes down to this John Lennon quote that I absolutely love. He talks about when he was a child and he was in school. And the teacher asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? And John Lennon responded with, happy. And the teacher said, I don't think you understand the question. And he said, I don't think you understand the answer. What makes you happy? Therein, lies where the authenticity and where your authentic self is crying out, screaming to run up to the stage. Give yourself that chance. Just start something small, something small. Space out your day, carve out five minutes, 10 minutes, even if it's starting with just five minutes, 10 minutes, carve out five minutes or 10 minutes a day that is all about you, and all about you learning, and all about you growing, and all about you being all in on your passion. And watch that 300 seconds just fly by. Why should you do it? You know what I'm gonna say, right? You matter. Because I appreciate you. Go get them.